Good morning, Rainbow High. A reminder that today is our first ever surprise staycation day. No classes will meet and no homework needs to be done. Instead, you are encouraged to catch up with friends, do chores, work on personal passion projects, or just get started on holiday preparations. And if you're still in bed, enjoy that too. All right. <laughs> Everyone answer all the questions. Yes. Yeah. Then hit the button to find out what is your true color. My true color is green. Go figure. Red. Orange. My color is inconclusive. I wonder if it's because I put fruit punch as my favorite juice. It's such a mix of flavors. I probably should have picked a juice of only one fruit, like pineapple or grape. Or maybe I should retake the whole quiz. Quiz? Why are you using the Q word on our day off? Uh, it's a personality true colors quiz. Amaya, oh, the last thing you need to do on a day off is retake a quiz of any kind. Yeah, I guess. By the way, where were you, Vi? You missed pancakes. Oh, I had to meet up with Stella to lend her my beach bag. She's taking off in her private jet to Miami for our day off. Can you believe? I can't. The day is called a staycation for a reason. I'm gladly staying here for a one-day vacation. Stella has her own plane? Mind blown emoji! Right? Well, it may not be as fancy, but Bella and I are seizing the staycation creatively. We're creating an original piece of art for the Rainbow Union. Yeah, and we have all sorts of ideas. Well, I'm seizing the staycation with some holiday prep. This year, I'm going to try something new and different and not music-based. Baking! Oh, yum! <sighs> I'm just happy to have a day off of doing things. Same. Jane and I have decided to make the most of having a day off by doing the least. The very least. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I do know who I'm going to do whatever it is with. Sunny! This term has been so busy, Violet and I are in desperate need of a BFQT day. Best friend quality time day. <laughs> yep, and now that we're done eating, let's get to it. For sure. Have a great day off, See besties. You later. <sighs> I'm so excited for a whole day of doing nothing. Yep, nothing. <sighs> You know, I should really do some laundry. Good idea. There, we've done a little something, and now we're ready to do nothing. <sighs> hey, I found a bunch of new beauty products I haven't gotten a chance to try yet. Maybe we should do those things before we do nothing. Ooh, I've been wanting to try this face mask. Ooh. Oh, and these under eye patches. Ooh. Oh, and this lip treatment. Am I doing too much? Not if I get to try everything on you. I feel so clean. You up for trying all these makeup samples too? Maybe some mascara? And that tinted lip gloss. And a little concealer, foundation, bronzer, and blush. Beautiful. Ooh, and this new setting spray. I feel and look so good. <sighs> Same. Ready to get back to nothing? Yes. But maybe after we grab some lunch? Wow. It smells delicious in here. I didn't know you two were master bakers. How's the baking going, Poppy? Uh, getting there. If all goes well, I can give everyone yummy baked goods as a holiday gift. Gift? For the holidays? Ho, 
homemade color-coordinated scrunchies and lip gloss for all of our friends. Are we good gift givers or what? Uh, the best. Kinda weird to use this room for non-school work, right? Right? Maybe we should grade our work so it feels normal. Boy Ruby! I give the work an A. Poppy! Another A. Sunny. Violet, Bella, and Amaya! A's all around. That was fun! And tiring. I feel more exhausted than I do on a normal school day. Same. We really stink at doing nothing, don't we? I give us a low B. Maybe even a C. <gasps> I've never gotten a C in my life! Me neither. But there is one thing we can do to fix that. Nothing? <sighs> so nice. What are you up to? Skylar? Uh, Jade? Hello? A lot of ingredients. What all are you baking? A cake from scratch. Three bags of groceries for just one cake? Wow. Not just a cake. A three-tier orange creamsicle cake with chocolate ganache filling. I found this recipe online. So many steps and ingredients. You must be a master baker. I've actually never baked before. Never ever? Well, I wanted to take food chemistry class in junior high, but it was at the same time as band, so I'm just picking it up now. Decided it was time for a hobby other than just music, 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 you know? <laughs> this cake looks delicious, but the recipe is pretty complex. Beat the egg whites by hand into fluffy peaks, and if you stop whisking for even a second, they'll collapse and you'll have to start all over. Do you think I should make something different? It's up to you. I just know when I started baking, my grandma taught me to cook with simple recipes and start with basic ingredients. Is chai spice nut butter not basic? You know how when you first learn music, you start with do, re, mi. Exactly. Well, with baking, it's like that, but you start with eggs, sugar, and butter. Hmm, that makes sense. And if you're looking for an easy recipe, look for the magic words, one bowl recipe. One bowl? I like the sound of that. Orange chocolate one bowl recipe. Ooh, here's one. Easy orange cookies with a simple chocolate glaze. How's that sound? Delicious and way easier than a three-layer cake. Hey, Pop. How's the one bowl going? Oh. I've had a bit of an issue finding the right sized one bowl and getting egg all over my screen. <laughs> you mix. I'll scroll. Oh, hey, I think you'll like this next part. It's Cook's choice for how many chocolate chips and nuts to add. Mix the flavors to your liking like a conductor conducting instruments until you create the perfect symphony for your taste buds. Food is like a symphony of the taste buds? <laughs> now they're speaking my language. Cream together the butter and sugar, then add orange zest. How much orange zest? Also, what is orange zest? Finely grated orange peel. Oh, right. Add one tablespoon or until it makes your taste buds sing. Not sure what that means. Ooh, loving it. Mm, mm, I think you've got it. Wow, your taste buds literally sung. You got the hang of cooking in record time. Platinum record time. <laughs> <laughs> delicious in here. What all did you make? Well, I started with these orange cookies, which are the rock opera of cookies. 
Then we made these macarons, which are like relaxing island music. Oh, but you gotta try the orange quick cake. I think of this cake like a catchy earworm I can't get enough of. A smattering of walnuts throughout, like drums keeping the beat. Some chocolate chips in place of a wailing vocal solo. And orange glaze frosting making sure we never lose the melody. But all work together in perfect harmony. Mm, yum. yum! You mean... Yum, 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 yum! yum. <laughs> yes! Oh, idea! You could start selling baked goods at the merch table of your shows. Yeah. Oh, all the good ideas, Amaya. You are so good at pretty much everything. Except getting an answer on the true color quiz. Aw, Maya. If it's bothering you, maybe you should retake it. I believe in you. Ooh, ooh. Maybe the do re mi of quiz taking is A, B, C. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. So far, we have a mural, a fiber art piece, a welded piece of metalwork, a stone sculpture, an interactive piece. We have so many good ideas. And I love them all. Same. But we have arguably too many good ideas. I know. But they're so good. How can we ever narrow it down? Huh. <sighs> Through careful deliberation? Or... I wrote down all our ideas, so we can just pick one out of a hat. Make fate have to decide instead of us? <laughs> oh, I like it. A mural. That's fun. Mm, except isn't a mural a, a little vanilla? It's like what anyone would expect us to do. Hmm, I see what you mean. Call that one a practice slip and redraw. Sculpture. That's new for both of us. Yeah. But I'm not really sure it's the right choice for this space. The Rainbow Union already has a huge tree in the middle. Does it really need a sculpture, too? Hey there! How's your art project coming along? Ugh. Eh, how are you? Also, eh. I'm still overthinking that true colors quiz from this morning. I retook it six times, and even when I tried giving different answers, it still ended up inconclusive. I never know what color is my true color. Who says you have to have one true color? Rainbow High is all about letting your true colors shine. Any and all of your true colors. I know, but... What if I use just one color on all my sets? Boring. Same with my art. It's about putting together all the colors you love in the right combination. I love that you're a little bit of all the things, Amaya. No matter what some quiz says. And you're so good at so much. So maybe being a little bit of everything is my true color? And maybe Bella and I need to take our own advice. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Huh? What do you mean? Hold this. We don't have to hold ourselves to one suggestion. But pick as many as give us inspiration. Ooh, I love it. An installation piece and <gasps> fiber arts. Ooh, fiber arts and installation? I like it. But it still feels like it's missing something. Maybe one more thing? Hmm. Amaya, you pick. An artist's favorite color. So, a fiber arts installation piece in which color, Amaya? Hmm. <laughs> Well, all of them, of course. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Ruby, Bella, I love how you used the Rainbow Union tree! And you made it really rainbow. You've had, like, the busiest day off ever. Thanks. But Amaya was a huge part of making it, too. Tell her the best part, Amaya. We are going to leave a full rainbow of yarn color options here at the base of the trunk. So anyone who wants can crochet a new row or two of their favorite color. So our art piece can continue to grow and change, just like we do over our time at Rainbow High. Aw, I love everything about that. Me too. Same. Go rainbows. And can I maybe add a row too? Please. Yes. Oh no, 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 no. This is the worst thing ever. Is this one of those pranks where you act like something's terrible just to see if your best friend will freak out with you? No, this is not a drill, Sunny. 
I lost my phone. Oh no! My phone is gone. I learned all about this from emergency preparedness videos. To start, take deep breaths in and out. <sighs> Now, try to remember. Where did you last see the missing person? The uh, missing phone. I don't know. I, uh, when I stopped by my locker on the way to meet you all in the Rainbow Union? Yes! To your locker! <gasps> it's okay! Now, why were you at your locker in the first place? To lend Stella my beach bag. Ah, the bag with all the pockets? Could you have maybe left your phone in one of those pockets? Maybe. But I have to know for sure. Stella has it. What? How do you know so fast? Well, I, I texted Stella, and she texted back. <gasps> we have to go get it. To the airport. Dad. Uh, she's already landed at the beach. But she'll be back tonight. Tonight? Huh. Are you going to be OK? Uh, Sure. I promise to keep you busy, okay? Thanks. And now, I wish I had my phone to update my status to say how sweet my best friend is. Oh. <gasps> what in the magical rainbow surprise? Whoa, it's so pretty. And we should probably put it back where it belongs. Huh, that's weird. It's... Empty. And really dusty. I'm pretty sure no one has touched this locker in a very, very long time. Oh, how long have you been in there, Eggie Boo? Eggie Boo? It looks like some kind of crystal to me. Yeah, I know, but look at it. I just feel like there's something inside. Something magical. Oh, Eggie Boo? We love you and are gonna take such good care of you! Ah, got you home! Now what do we do with you, my little eggy boo? Hmm. Hey, remember when we got to take care of eggs in third grade? Oh yeah! We got to see the baby chicks hatch! The first step I remember to egg care from back then was to keep it safe and cozy. And also make sure it stays nice and warm. And most of all, give it lots of love. That's the easy part because it is the cutest egg ever. Aren't you? Yes, you are. Aw, Sunny, you are such a good egg parent. I know it doesn't have a mouth, but do you think the egg would maybe want a snack? Oh, worth a try. Oh, fingers crossed. What are you up to? Baking! Oh! Don't let Eggy Boo see! Huh? And they lived happily ever after. The end. Do you think they fell asleep? For sure. Hi! Do you feel that? Are we having an earthquake? No, Eggie Bill is just wiggling and glowing. They're hatching! That's it, Eggie. Keep going. Oh, I always knew you would hatch. You're doing it. We're both so proud of you. Wait, we need a video, but I don't have my phone. Sunny, can you take one? Oh, mine has no power. We'll just have to take videos in our mind. And enjoy it, IRL! <gasps> Welcome to the world, little one. You're going to be the <sighs> best pet ever! This is the most incredible and weird thing that has ever happened to us. <sighs> and we don't have video proof that we 